Hi there, welcome to the show. Saskia here, my favorite topic, Butland Youth Theater, yay! Not that I don't like any of the other topics because I always like who, whatever I'm talking about with uh, guests on the show. We have a, a bunch of people here and we are uh, discussing Annie. And before I go on to Annie, uh, I promised the audience I would bring back the award. We, the, the Rutland Youth Theater won a national award the National Dorothy Mullen Arts and Humanities Award. And yours truly was sent to California to pick it up. And so thank you very much. And um, I am just thrilled that uh, we won this award. And uh, specifically because the actors, my production team, the production team prior to me coming on board, uh, Susan, formerly Baker, Scassia, I think she's called now. Mm -hmm. um, she did a great job. All the parents, all the volunteers, and of course, all of our sponsors, businesses, and um, individuals from the Rutland, greater Rutland area, such like yours. So um, if you're thinking, hey, I really love what the Rutland Youth Theater does, you can become a sponsor, and you can check us out on um, rutlandrec.com, Rutland Youth Theater. And we are able to do such fabulous shows because of supporters. And not only money, but a lot of people support us in uh, advertising and um, Peck TV always supports us, the radio station. So I'm very, very happy about that. And I was going to bring in this awesome award. It's this big and it has a plaque and it says, yay, the winner, the national winner. But I forgot. Ooh. So. And uh, I will bring it in uh, the next show that we're doing here on TV. And um, before further ado, I will introduce my phenomenal cast. We have such a great, great talent and cast. Um, always with Rutland Youth Theater, I'm so thrilled that the youngsters are always all be able to pull off such difficult material. Annie is an old Broadway show. And it's difficult. It's it's not easy. Yeah. It, it's not like a watered down kind of Broadway show. It, it was from the 40s, I believe. Um, yeah, I think so. Something uh, 30s, like that. 30s. 30s even. Uh, time so, of war. Yeah. <laughs> and we're hoping that instead of having a three combo orchestra, my musical director, who is Ken Baker, um, told me, oh no, they're all, they're all ready and capable with their Ooh. microphones to go over and above an actual full-blown orchestra, which would be a 17 to 18 piece orchestra with the trumpet, the true, all that, all that jazz, mm. right, in the Annie show. So, well, so to my right is Annie, and um, so we have Annie and Mrs. Hannigan and Daddy Warbucks, and um, I always tell the, uh, the actors, you better get used to me calling you yeah. uh, by your character name. So um, first off is uh, Morgan Wallace. She will be playing at, um, Annie. And second is um, Lily Burnham, and yeah. she'll be playing Miss Hello. Hannigan. And she is beautiful, pretty, um, <laughs> sophisticated. <laughs> And when you see her as Miss Hannigan, she's a little different. If you know the story, she's definitely yeah, different, right? Yeah, different. And then third off, we have Taylor Ampicellos, and he's Daddy Warbox. And then fourth in the chair um, is his lovely secretary, <laughs> who happens to be running a little bit late. Ooh, you, you, oh. I hope you won't fire her, Daddy Warbox. Um, but um, it's, she will be playing Grace, and it's Sophie Robledo. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. So she will be running in. Uh, you know, I love that about theater. Anything goes. It's kind yeah. of if you knew what was going on behind stage, you <laughs> wouldn't believe it, <laughs> right? Yeah. You wouldn't oh, believe yeah. it. Yeah. So let me get to Annie first. So um, I've worked with you before. Yeah. I've directed you before, and um, so when you came to audition. Now, of course, you've got, you know, you've got the color here, and you've got the size, and you can sing and dance and, mm -hmm. and act, but you had some competition, wouldn't you say? Yes, um, a lot mm -hmm. of competition, mm -hmm. and um, I was confident, though, and I loved the musical Annie, so I knew I'd watched it a few times, so I knew like what Annie is like. She's tough, but mm -hmm. she's also very nice to some orphans and some people, so... Yeah. Right. Well, I, I told uh, Morgan 
there, there are various versions of Annie, even in the movie. But I love the version with Carol Burnett. I think yeah, she, that's she was, I mean, that's a hard act to follow for both Annie, uh, <laughs> Miss Hannigan, and even yeah. Daddy Warbox. Yeah. I mean, he was phenomenal. So, but it is that. And now you're just like Miss Hannigan, who's sophisticated and everything. You in real life, you know, you're, you're a sweetheart and, you know, you are. So it's kind of hard for you to be like not so nice. Um, but I also think that your dance teacher has been helping you. Yes. Uh, with your stands and, you know, yeah. the kind of fighting Annie. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Makes me more a little tough. And so it has been a challenge, but I think I've come a long way for the last two, I think, weeks. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah. And we'll, we'll hammer on it some more, <laughs> right? But that, that's the beauty of acting. Um, you know, you don't have to necessarily play completely someone else, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I always liken it to what would you do in that situation? So, um, and uh, in rehearsal, you, as well as some of the other orphans that we will be introducing in a little bit, um, when, you all, when you girls get angry, a lot of you smile. Well, I don't know, yeah. when I get angry, I don't think I'm smiling, but uh, because, because why? why? Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's because we all love acting, singing, and dancing, and um, Jen Garrow, who is a choreographer, gave mm -hmm. us really good steps for a Hard Knock Life and yeah. for the show, <laughs> and I think we're all really fun to be there, and like, we're really excited, so. Right, so, so that's why you're like, you have your happy face on. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then you have to say, oh boy, but it's a hard knock life. And, yeah. you know, it's depressing. And Missy over there next to you is uh, not so nice to live with, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, let's go over to Miss Hannigan. So, yeah. um, wow, that's, that's quite the role to. Uh, yeah, it is. To get. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's really fun. It's just an amazing part. I'm really glad I got the part. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, it, what I found was interesting, oh, here, here's Grace. All right, Grace, come on. Um, what you wrote on your audition form was, um, oh, I can be Duffy, who is the oldest orphan. Yeah. Or you had someone else. I think but, Pepper, right? Or Pepper. Yeah. But none of the adult roles, which yeah, I, I, didn't I, think found, it, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't know but what that's you so were amazing. trying to. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I thought you were gonna cast them <coughs> older. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, and um, well, what was interesting because also when I see you as a person, that's why as a director you kind of have to look yeah, through what look somebody cute. is doing, and kind of imagine. And then when you started singing, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> I was like, wow, because the whole you have the whole character of Hannigan, especially when you sing. So it's a, it's been a great yeah. process to see. So you're new to this area. Yes, I am. And you're from? Arlington, Vermont. I have to travel really far. <laughs> no kidding. She has to travel, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, almost an hour, uh, an hour and a half, like uh, an hour 15. Maybe. Bl bless hour mom 10. and dad. I think yeah, they're here in the studio. You. <laughs> yes, great. Well, so your sister, Molly, yes. um, she is in reality, in, in the show, also Molly. Yeah. So that's easy for me. Hey, Molly, she'll listen to me no matter what because <laughs> it's her name and her character name. So you have acted before? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the things that you have done? Well, most recently in May, I was the Artful Dodger mm -hmm. in Oliver. It was just a really fun part to play. And then when I was seven, I was in Little Oompa Loompa. Oh, good, good, <laughs> yeah. good. So, um, is it something that you would want to further? Is it something that you would like to continue? I, I know Annie over here. Yeah, she is like Broadway. Here I come. I want to go. <laughs> I want to go there. Right. That's something that you really want to pursue. Is it more of a um, um, a hobby? Which is I, I hate to think of theater as a hobby because yeah, it's, it's not so relaxing. And yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> hang out. I mean, it's hard work. Yeah, right. Is. But is it something that you would like to further or your Yes, story? I think it would really be something I'd like to further. Mm -hmm. Just pursue it and it's just so fun to do right. and I really enjoy it. Right, and see what happens. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Well, we'll when, the, when the orphans come on, we'll, we'll have her start a little Hannigan action. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so next is Taylor and Pacello, the, the winner of um, the really big show. Yay. Yay. And, well, and Annie over here, you won vocals in your age group. Yeah. So for me, of course, the producer hat 
Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. Your mom, who was my <laughs> marketing sidekick, uh, Randy Cohn, right? Yes. Cohn. Um, she was so funny. She said, oh, well, let's take a picture. Because, of course, we have the banner already <laughs> hanging in, mm -hmm. at the Paramount. And it couldn't have been better for the any marketing that both of you you won. But um, now you've worked with Morgan before. You've worked with the Rutland Youth Theater. Oh, yeah. I've time. been working with the Rutland Youth Theater. I think my first show was when I was seven or eight. I mean, wow. it's, you know, so far long ago. It's, mm -hmm. it's been quite a while, but I've... I've always had fun with every show I've done, mm -hmm. and you know I just keep coming back because I just enjoy it so much. Great. Well, we're we're glad that you're here. And Taylor, actually, um, well, Morgan over here, she said, "Oh, I'm willing to get a perm. You were too funny." <laughs> Which we don't know if you actually have to get a perm. The, the hair designer thinks that maybe she can tease it, you know, in other ways, but. Um, yeah, Taylor will have to donate that beautiful, gorgeous oh, beautiful, hair. Beautiful, beautiful head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> <Must> too. <laughs> because he will definitely. So, so what? What do you think about that? I mean, I, I, I think it's just going to be just something different, a little change. Mm -hmm. I was joking around with my mom, who kept on saying, "Are you really sure you're going <laughs> to shave your head? Are you really sure?" I kept on telling her, "If I weren't in the show, I might still do it." I mean, it's just. You know, it's just something, mm -hmm. something different I might want to do. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go all the way bald. There get rid of go. all of it. Yeah. Well, Daddy wore a box. And, you know, some people said to me, well, can't you put like a, a bald cap? And I could. But I think it's nicer. And it's not know? as, yeah, it's not as realistic. It's not as realistic. Yeah. So, and we don't want that to fall down and then have like <laughs> the toupee. <laughs> the reverse toupee. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for being on the show, and we'll, no we'll, we'll get back to you, and congratulations. So, um, well, before you came here, this is Sophie. I said to Daddy Warbucks over there, oh, she's your secretary, and she's late. Maybe we'll, we'll you know, I hope you don't fire her. But um, thanks so much for coming. I know there was a communication uh, issue there, so I'm glad that you're here. Um, so you are also new to the area, I right? Am. Yes. So tell us a little bit about Sophie. Sophie is um, the daughter of a associate dean, and when she got a full dean position at Castleton University, we kind of all had to move. So okay. I'm originally from Rhode Island, but I've lived in Buffalo, New York for okay. a lot of my life. Wow. Yeah. So. Um, did you do any of uh, the, the theater in Buffalo? Yes, I did. was involved in theater since I was in third grade. Wow, well, and it shows. I mean, all yeah. of them have fabulous voices and you have a fabulous voice too. And uh, so what I'm interested about, so you came to audition and um, of course this is a youth theater. So a lot of the adult roles in our musicals are played by you know, a little little older kid. So uh, what was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be Grace? I was very excited uh -huh. because when I heard about Annie, I thought, oh, I'm way too old to be Annie. And mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and everybody wants to be Annie, but um, I was thinking of other roles, and I thought that Grace would be really perfect for, like, my voice, and mm -hmm. I just really liked her character. And... So I put her down on the audition sheet, and I was so excited. Uh -huh. And when I got the call, I was jumping with joy. There you go. That's great. That's great. Well, often in, uh, I think that the um, job of a director, my job, 95% of my job is to cast well. And, to, you know, yeah. um, and as I said before, too, the any musical is quite hard. You know, your part, for example, it would be very hard if somebody did not have your voice to be able to pull off mm -hmm. that yeah. part. Um, and, and overall, I think the caliber of the voices, I know that my musical director was jumping for joy. <laughs> He's like, yay! Because <laughs> they're, they're such great talent. So um, so you go to Robin High School? Yes. Are you involved in Encore? I know, Taylor, you are yep. involved mm -hmm. in Encore. So we'll make a pitch for, uh, for Encore here. You're in the, in the mouse? The, that uh, the mouse that roared. Uh, we First just had a show last yesterday. night. Oh, good! Oh. Um, and that went really well. And our next shows are next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Thursday through Saturday at seven o'clock, uh -huh. and Sunday at two. And I believe tickets are 
seven dollars for adults and four for children and seniors. Okay, I'm pretty sure somewhere okay. around there. So this will go on the air in in a couple of days. So uh, that is November, <laughs> the weekend of November sixteenth. Oh, yeah. So call the high school, you know, come support them. After that, you know, we this show will still be going because the Annie show is not until the 14th and 15th. Right. So, but you know, you're both heavily involved in, in Encore, which is great. And I love it, and I've said this before, when we work all together, mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, Kathy Archer will, you know, I may call her and say, I really need them, or she'll, she'll <laughs> yeah. say it too, and we all work together. Because, you know, there, there's just so yeah. much to do. So, great. Well, um, I think it's time to have some, it's a hard knock life, Orphans. Uh, so, Orphans. Come on, you can come on, you can come on. Yeah, don't be shy. Come, come, come. All right, so just here, come sit right here. Huddle together, huddle together. Now make sure you're in the frame though. I want I want to be able that everybody that I see you. Uh, no, you, you, you need to go sit in, in more in the front, yeah. Squeeze in there, squeeze in there. Uh, yeah, so uh, Kate, character Kate, scoot over a little bit to your right. Yeah, and then scoot, scoot in there. Yes. Are you all there? Yeah. Yes, so. we're all there. Okay, so, um, Miss Hannigan. Hi. Right, so here are your... Uh, hmm. What are you staring at? <laughs> Rat and orphan. <laughs> this is funny, because even in rehearsal, uh. they do that too. They're like, eee. oh no, I'm not supposed to smile, <laughs> right? So you guys gotta work on great. that. Great, uh huh. And I would also like to uh, ask Rooster and Lily. Those, that's Rooster is Hannigan's, um, Hannigan's brother. Hey, hey, your sis. Hey, hey, your hey, sis. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you this first. So why don't you tell us who you are and. Uh, oh, well, I'm Brandon Bailey, and I'm, <laughs> I'm playing Rooster in the Annie, and. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, you, yeah, he's got this great thing. Like, do, do you have it with you? No? Oh, no, I don't have it. Uh, it's, um, it's a turkey call, and I <laughs> put it in here, and it's just like... Uh, 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 right. It's very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, you can do a little rooster to your lily over there. Rooster? Really? <laughs> I am Eliza Lincoln, and I play Lily St. Regis, who is Rooster's girlfriend. <laughs> right, and who is the ditzy from New Jersey <laughs> girlfriend. So um, we have, aside from Kent Baker, we have um, Jennifer Page helping us out with the vocals. So she's gonna, she's in the process of getting those uh, Jersey accent goo gum cracking uh, <laughs> voice. Great. So, um, Rooster, uh, how did you like being, yeah, so oh. she can take that back. So, so here you are, you came to audition, and you wanted to be? Rooster. Rooster. <laughs> and um, so what's so great about Rooster? Well, I didn't really know the show that well at first until I watched the movie. Oh, okay. So, um, and then I just thought, you know, I can't, uh, I really wanted to be Annie, but you know. <laughs> 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 you're just a little, you're just a little tall. <laughs> just a little tall. Hey, in Shakespeare, that's possible, but I don't know. It was so so yeah. that wasn't gonna happen. So I was like, uh, so I was thinking, you know, Daddy Vorbox or Rooster, but I thought that Rooster would be a little more fun thing to do since, mm -hmm. you know, no, I like being the bad guy. So. I like being the bad guy. Well, Warbox over there is a bit of a bad guy. Oh. You know. In for the, the beginning of the show. For the beginning of the yeah. show, and then yeah. he kind of warms up to uh, to Annie over there. Great. So you're involved in your in town. Yep. We Stage have lots three. of shows uh, going on at the Mill River Union High School, and that's also going on at the same weekend, right? Yep. Next weekend, Friday and Saturday. So that would also be the 16th and, and 17th. Yeah. So there's plenty. On Friday night, you can go to Encore, and then on Saturday night, you go to the Mill River Making a weekend of high shows. Yeah. There you go. Great. <laughs> yeah, and then come to Annie. Yeah, then come to Annie, definitely. Yeah. So, um, so uh, uh, Lily over there. So you need to speak in the microphone, okay? So um, what does it feel like to be Lily? That's kind of like a big job. Well, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. And I have a lot of pressure on myself usually. Yeah. Um, but and 
I know that I need to be a little more ditzier, but I think that once I get the accent down, <laughs> it'll just ditzier. roll out. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. There you go. And I, I think you'll get there, too. Yeah. No problem. Great. So we'll let, if you can give me the, the microphone over here, then I'm going to some orphans over here. Okay? And then, I, then we have some extra people, too. We have some servants and some other cabinet members. So <coughs> you can pass this around. Okay, and um, you can actually, let me see, in that camera over there, okay, so you can say who you are, all right, go ahead. I'm Taylor Compton, mm -hmm. and I'm playing um, one of the ensemble orphans. That's right, great, so how is it to be back in, uh, in, in the musical? Well, it's really fun, I love um, singing, and so I think it's really great. Mm -hmm. Cool, glad to have you. Okay, you can just pass it along. I'm Zoe Zamerko, and I'm another ensemble orphan. All right, and this is your this is your debut. <coughs> yeah. This is her debut. Never been in uh, in a theater play, right? Well, you're doing fantastic. And that's sister over there. I'm Leah Zamerko, and I'm playing the orphan Tessie. Oh, come on, give me some Tessie. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Good. She's the crybaby, right? All right. Um, uh, my name is Miranda Martin, and I play July. Now, so so what's and this is also your debut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. So what who, what's July about? Well, I guess well she's one of the oldest orphans. Her and Duffy are both the or oldest orphans. Mm -hmm. Um. I guess she's sort of, um, well, I don't really know. <laughs> um, um, well, you, you, you kind of fight a lot, right, yeah, with Duffy, I, but you're, you're um, you know, and you're both nice, right? Yeah. Duffy isn't here uh, today, mm -hmm. but um, you're nice, but you're an orphan. Is orphan life uh, peaches? No. No, <laughs> it's horrible, right? Miss Hannigan over there will uh, make you work for nothing. Right. <laughs> so, so in the end of the show, where 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 do you go? Do you go to a uh, a more lovelier lady um. and gentleman? <laughs> right. Yes. You, you you go to Warbucks and Grace because he ends mm -hmm. up adopting all of you. Right. I do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I've never made what that connection. You know? <laughs> it's, it's news to him. What do you know? Hey, I'm glad. So now I have, have weeks left. Nine kids. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No, you you have all. Of oh, them. that's what I thought. And they no longer they can go to school. Oh, and yeah. They, yeah. Which they're not very excited about, but <laughs> exactly, exactly. But they're excited about no longer having to scrub the floors and live with her. <laughs> and you're back so in jail. We're and all three in yeah. jail. Yeah. 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 All in jail. So there was no uh, All right. Okay. Who's next? Um, hi, my name is Allison Almond, and I play Kate, and I'm the second youngest orphan in the whole orphanage, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and th this is this is new for you, right? To be in a theater, um, in, yeah. in other than school, or yeah, this is like my first play with you. I've done a couple of other plays mm -hmm. um, with some other people, mm -hmm. but. This is probably the best of all. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Robin, you theater rocks. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Hi, I'm Haley Lassen, and I'm in the ensemble or slash orphan. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Thank you. I'm Alexis DeStefano, and I am one of the orphans. Okay. I'm Siobhan Gallagher, and I also am an ensemble orphan. Okay, so an ensemble orphan, um, you know, a lot of, uh, yeah, you can, you can, you can do that. Um, a, a lot of times um, people think, oh, well, I mean the ensemble. I personally love the ensemble because you yeah. come on a lot, you dance, you sing, you know, you're like very tight. And I have to say, all of the orphans, man, you're right on. We're like, what, two, no, almost three weeks now in, um, in rehearsal. And they got it down. Yeah, yes. you guys are really good. Yeah, very ahead. <laughs> yeah. Very ahead. Very yeah. studious students, because yeah. as I always say, you know, a theater is hard work. People yeah. go to a theater play and say, "Oh, hey, that's that's cool," and you know, they're having fun. And 
but it's hard work. It's very, very hard. And they're very, very they're very quick studies. I mean, Jan Garrow doing much of the choreography. Yeah, and yeah. it's looking That's amazing. Great. Oh, yeah. totally, totally. So they they got us all excited. So well, let's see. So we have some others. So if you you come over here, you can just go stand over here. If the if the rest of uh, the gang can come on, that would be great. And just file right in, like right over here. Uh, Casey, you can probably come sit right with me over here. All right, but, but you, you, you need to sit right here, otherwise I can't see you, love. Right there, yeah, good. Now make sure, um, Roosevelt over there, can you please go way behind Eliza here, because you're nice and tall. <laughs> and and Skylar, you probably want to go in between Sam and Peyton. And I don't think I see you, so Kyle, if you can come closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we did it. We see half of him. Yes. There we go. Did we did it. it. I haven't counted how many cast members are here, but we definitely are missing a bunch. We, I think we are like 55, yeah, 55 of us. There, yeah. So come check us out. Great, great show. High oh, caliber <laughs> city theater show. All right. Let's start with Roosevelt over there. So uh, let's see. Yeah, if you can all just say who you are and what you do. Go ahead. Hello, I'm President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and I <laughs> govern this fine nation. And he's back from the dead. Oh, my wow. gosh. OK, <laughs> that was a Zachary Zupan. <laughs> and I need a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, that's right. So Zachary Zupan comes from Manchester, yeah. and his brother is a little bit further down the line there. So. Um, Thank you for being with us. Next up. Um, I'm Pete and Trainer, and I play a Hooverville woman, a servant, and a Boylan sister. That's right, the Boylan sister. It's all about the radio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Hello, I am Skylar Ambrose, and I play the Apple Seller. The Apple Seller, and she's also in the NYC, and she's and everybody sings the New Deal, which is at the end with uh, celebrating Christmas at Daddy Warbucks. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm Sam Groom, and I am a street rat that gets decked by Annie. <laughs> Definitely tough Annie And <laughs> his one. private chauffeur. And his private chauffeur. <laughs> All right, thank you. Next Hi, up. Hi, I'm Zane Zupan, and I play a butler, a manservant, a Hooverville man, and a Morg cabinet and Morgenthau. Member. That's right, a cabinet member. Oh. I am Kyle Mead. I play Eddie, which is a Hooverville man. Mm -hmm. I play a servant, and I play a cabinet member named Ickies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ickies. Can you imagine having a cabinet name named Ickies? Ickies. Ickies. He doesn't I'm have sorry. such a good mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's true. Well, and, and lots of you um, actually, rather than having everybody play a, 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 a part, just one part. I thought it would be great to have an ensemble playing all different parts, and then you get to dance and sing yeah. a lot more, right? Yeah. All right, last up there. My name's Dylan Beebe, and I play the part of Drake, who's kind of the head servant, which originally was written for me to be kind of very proper, an English gentleman type man, but Saskia has changed it, as she does with most plays, to, if you're Oops. familiar with the show, to Punjab. From the original, from the original. Yeah. From the original movie, movie. Yeah. and I thought it was so great, because he was such a outstanding character, and yeah. I know that Hollywood does that a lot, so, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes I take a little liberty. I think it's okay, mm -hmm. and I think it would look great, you know, in the whole ensemble. So, wow, we did it, and we did it in time. Unbelievable. Wow. I would like to... Oh, I'm sorry, love. Where's oh the mic? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We oh my gosh. almost forgot it's you. Oh. Hey, he, he's not shy, that's for sure. Okay, you've got one second. Um, no. My name is Casey McMullen, and I'm the dog catcher, and I catch dogs. Yes, he <laughs> catches dogs. All right, and Six, talking about five, dogs, four. we have a live Sandy. Um, his name is Branyan, and uh, so, yeah, it will be all good. Come this out. Thank you, guests, yeah. and in the chairs, and thank you all. And we that's our camera, and you can all say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.